Hey guys, how's it going? Wireless Hot Shot here, and I got some features I want to show you in the new iOS 5 beta, and this is the first beta so far of iOS 5. Um, so, first of all, most of these I found out by myself. I don't have very many because I can't really remember at this time, but these are some things that Apple has not really shown off, and ones that I've kind of found that seem not to be the most popular. So, um, the first one is the music app is redesigned. So, like the music down here, it used to be iPod. Now it's music, and I believe they've thrown in videos instead of iPod as well. So you got uh, the two new icons, you know. But I have no videos, so there's nothing, nothing in there at all. Um, I guess you can buy buy some in the store, and then you can go back to library right here. Oops, where to go? Um, I don't know. Still a little buggy. I just missed it, I guess. But um, you can go back. You can go back like that. Um, this one right here, music, let's take a look at music. It's redesigned, and this design is actually kind of looks a little cool. Um, still got to get used to it. For some reason, my iTunes will not sync any music. It will not say I have any music, which I have a lot of music in. It's, it's re really retarded. Um, but uh, you can. there's a new play, fast forward, rewind, and the scrubbing. It's. I guess it's a lot better. I mean, it's pretty accurate. Um, you can go down, and it goes slower go up it goes a little bit faster just like it did back then you know music uh, volume is just like that um, I only have like two songs or something I guess I only have one song um, oops you go down here at the very bottom and you can click right there and it goes take it take you right to the store so that you um, you don't have to double tap and go find it or whatever um, speaking of the button down here what else I found out is multi gestures. Really, this is pretty self-explanatory, but the multi gestures are um, already installed. You, um, you don't have to jailbreak it or anything like that. So that's pretty cool, and it's gonna that's a good indication of um, iOS 5 is gonna have multi gestures when it com comes out. Um, this one is kind of I don't know if this is true, but it looks like the Safari up here. Probably can't see it. But up there, the Safari bar is black, and I don't know if I put a setting to make it do that. I don't think I did. I even looked in the Safari settings, but um, the Safari Safari seems to be black, and I I kind of like it. It's kind of hard to read. I I got the brightness down anyways too, so you can see it with the camera. Um, uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but it it sure is. Um, something else I want to show you. Something I I've kind of figured out as well. I'll show you on my iPhone first. My iPhone is running a 4.3.3, so it's not iOS 5 beta. So right here, I'm on the same same page. This is my videos, and uh, what you had to do is this is a scrolling, and you'd you'd have to use two fingers, and it would scroll within that scroll scroll bar. It would scroll the whole page, and when you do one finger, you know it'd scroll the whole page just like normal. But with this, you know I can go page up and down and you can do this with inside the thing and it seems to be pretty smooth still a little buggy but um, that's something else I found out so I'll close that back out and uh, see here I got uh, scroll with one finger okay this camera this is probably seen this in TLD today's uh, video but if you take a picture I'll take a picture of the camera there um, if you swipe, I don't know why it's doing that, but um, if you swipe to the left, it will go right to the picture, so you don't have to click this button down there and something like that. Um, that really will make it a lot handy, a lot handier for some pe some people like me. If you take pictures, you know that's gonna be awesome. Um, mail, go in the mail here, and I got. It's only if you're in portrait, and this portrait landscape is like this. And when you put in landscape, it shows you email here. So you do this, and no matter where you are, you can just swipe to the right, and it will pull that out, which is pretty handy so you don't have to go back or whatever. It's pretty pretty easy. And this last little feature that I found, um, I actually found this from TLD today, but um, I'm going to go ahead and show you right now. If you go into general, and then uh, in general you go down to uh, uh, keyboard, and shortcuts right here. Right here, you can type in a phrase and a, a shortcut. So that's the shortcut, and there, there's the phrase. So if I go into, 
my notes right here. Make a new note. And I put SUB. And it will, hey, subscribe to uh, Wireless Hotshot. Um, something you probably should do for people who text a lot on their iPhone. It will uh, really help out a lot. So that is uh, some features that I've found. I probably won't make another video because iOS 5 is so buggy right now that I really don't want to have it on my iPad because it's just so buggy and like I can't even open up the weather app and it'll just close out every single time after I get a certain point. There it is right there. So um, that's all the features that I found other than, you know, that's the stuff Apple hasn't really announced. But there are some features for you guys if you have any questions uh, or anything like that. Go ahead and ask me the questions uh, the comments down below. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below. And you want to read that? Feel my balls. .org, testicular cancer awareness project. But um, also subscribe to Wireless Hotshot, like the little shortcut said. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.